All right, welcome back, ladies and ladies with dicks. I just want to start this off by saying what you are watching is simply not a video. It is a full-fledged passion project because I've been holding back my thoughts on this dietary plan, Chris Chan, for quite some time. And it's not so much even what this person did to why I'm even making a video in the first place. It's just the amount of times they've been in drama that really is just starting to piss me off because this person cannot go a week without frothering out the mouth, yelling racial slurs at people on Discord like a Confederate caveman. Ringo's also literally making the same jokes. Like, what the fuck are you talking about uh, like what the fuck are you every picture you take looks like a prostitute mugshot and i've just had enough i thought after maybe the 65th or 66th give or take time she ended up threatening to assassinate people's families that she would eventually settle down and take a breather but nope this person is an all-star asshole there's no time for benches or half times fuck that she's not a pussy she has to argue with people on twitter all day or else she'll shit her drawls and start suffering from withdrawals because every day she wakes up in her desk from the coke binge from the night prior from fighting 12 year olds on discord and immediately straps on her helmet and prepares for another day of battle because she literally can't help herself no i've never said n***er in my life people sometimes suffer from living their lives virtually and what i mean by that is all this youtuber does is roam like a hungry shark across twitter all day just looking for controversy or drama to get herself dragged into and then when she does get into drama she just screams and run away like a little crackhead running down South Florida Dill Drive, so it's absolutely incredible. And that YouTuber we're going to be taking a look at today goes by the name of Jalen, or was better known as Jaden. So Jalen was originally somebody that was heavily involved in the Minecraft community, and originally was a Minecraft YouTuber, which you know is probably about all you need right there and then. Anything that comes out of a sentence after Minecraft YouTuber usually results in a sexual felony, but luckily she isn't the what you would expect to happen in a server where the rules prohibitively state that there are no fucking rules, so you're pretty much as safe as running out in the wind with your cock out in the middle the purge absolutely nothing good comes from the server so it's no surprise that little young Jalen after uploading a few innocent let's plays you know just aspiring to be like her idols because we all remember the happy times when Dan TDM would watch crosses and churches get set on fire on 2b2t anyways so obviously with that server being like the Gotham City of Minecraft Jalen making videos on it would be like her shining the fucking bat signal on herself and let a lot of open doors for her to getting harassed with them because they now know who is uploading their server to the public and long story short her channels and all her socials end up getting hacked after she would download a file somebody from the server sent her and i don't know if that file programmed all of 2b2t into her brain like a drug because from this day forward she would never be the same happily giggly jalen that we all once known her for uh hey what's going on guys it's uh Jin Plays so after the whole incident she ended up getting back all her accounts shortly after but she would decide to transition her content into what it's known for today which is about as entertaining as a bag of dicks blowing out in the mojave absolutely no flavor of personality thrown into that shit at whatsoever at all every time i watch one of her videos i feel like i'm at a court hearing because she has absolutely no emotion or voice you guys will never believe what corpse looks like so today i'm gonna be talking <laughs> She has the same mannerisms as a goddamn sloth from the Zootopia movie. So yeah, her content is pretty boring and sounds very automated and might work better than melatonin, but that's not the main focal point of the video. It's to show the difference between the calm, collected news reporter we have on running on Jalen Daly and then the goddamn batshit, feral, uninhabitable, gum munching, teeth crunching, cheek scrunching rampages you go on by night. For example, some of the few cult classics she's given out to the kind souls that offer her blessings are, I hope World War II happens to all religious people say the reason I joined this voice chat is uh nobody cares <laughs> yeah I hope what already happened to religious people during the World War II timeline already happened you know nice one Jaden that one really had me throwing shoulders and shitting boulders and hearty laughter because you're such a fucking idiot you can't even tell whatever classification of a joke this is right it's just incredible you somehow managed to do everything wrong in your life and whenever you hop on Twitter you completely morph into this white pride werewolf just look at this shit I mean I can't even begin to make a sound of what was said on this one and who can forget the time she really brought it home with i'm gonna get someone to beat and kill your ass yeah no you won't what the hell are you gonna pull up in the family odyssey with little aiden in the back munching on his fruit snacks after you pick him up from soccer practice i don't mean to be rude but you look like a member <sighs> off of the crew so let's dial it the hell down before i knock it the fuck up because there's no possible way you think you have any level of power when you look like rosie o'donnell if she never showered like you hold no intimidation over anybody you came out this bitch acting like you liam nielsen on some taken three shit or sending somebody like you have any shooters oh watch out fellas the milwaukee cucks are here to watch our wives get fucked I guess. And that's honestly just the tip of the iceberg. This is something that you could expect this.
I fucking love Red Lobster, bro. That's something you could expect to see on a daily basis when her Twitter was active, and it's almost like a little happy tale to tuck the kids into bed every night because there's always a start and there's always a finish for every time she rampages. It almost ends the exact same, almost like a repeating cycle of just hormonal insecurity. She'll randomly tweet something she laughed at at r slash white right and then post it, or she'll have a mental breakdown about her career being over because a video performed a 2 out of 10 instead of a 1, and just makes the most minuscule, tiniest shit that the normal person would even bat an eye to a life threat in crisis that everybody has to deal with whether we want to or not. As a YouTuber, it is hard not to get caught up in seeing your videos hit a 1 out of 10. You feel this high, like you're on top of the world, but when your next video doesn't hit that 1 out of 10, it makes it feel like it's nothing. And you know, to be honest, it's just taking some time to realize that I'm just happy with where I'm at right now. You're the one who always tweets about how you have no friends and your girlfriend doesn't like you. I are you a trans male? Trans? What the fuck are you? Don't commit to any type of pussy. Act, motherfucker. Fuck you. And then the next reply after that she told somebody to kill themselves. Now, I'm gonna keep it 99 because I'd be lying sometimes. I will admit, I used to stress heavy about numbers too. I almost think it's a phase of good portion of YouTubers go through where they focus all of their energy in trying to grow the engagement on their content rather than the actual content people click to watch you for. Like, actually, Please, God save me. Help me stop. Help. I hate okay. you. I do not like you. You're going a bit too far. You are yeah. annoying. Yeah. You won't yeah. shut up. Please yeah. stop. Galen is a perfect example of quantity over quality because you can just see the lackluster effort she puts into her content. And I know you might be saying, well, Briz, you make the same exact content. Wouldn't it be a little bit hypocritical? Well, of course it's hypocritical. I'll be the first to say that commentary is probably the laziest and the easiest genre that there is on YouTube. But she just develops absolutely no emotion or personality in any of her videos. That I bet you just lose more information and forget what the f*** the video was about before you could actually learn anything from it, because that's just how boring her videos are. If you played a Jaden video in a special ed classroom, all the kids would just sit there and start to fucking drool, because she doesn't make anything about her videos interesting. So you should be thankful or grateful for even getting to the point where you're at today, but it looks Looks like I don't even need to remind you that because you'll remind everybody yourself how much of a humble, hardworking creator you are. Because shortly after a little tism tantrum she had, she went on to flex her YouTube analytics and then followed it up with suck it fat. So almost make it a mission in your life to give people a reason to not like you, and this is just proof of it. And keep in mind, she used to be scratching her neck, refreshing the tweet deck like a crackhead, open mouth breathing until your lips start to become dilapidated from screaming on Discord calls all day about saying, I hope the Armenian genocide happens to all Sam Club shoppers is supposed to be the funniest comedy that's ever been known to man, and you go on and dream and defend about it for two hours straight. So obviously with her saying all this BS, people weren't really too fond of her showing off her numbers after just yesterday, she was probably sitting in a corner refreshing her studio, thrashing around in her office chair like a patient that's being administrated into Arkham Asylum. So it's a tad bit ironic and hypocritical for you to be spinning the block and presenting your cock over everybody that dares to doubt you when just the day before you had absolutely zero faith in yourself, acting like you just got laid off during a stock recession for getting a couple thousand less views on a YouTube video. But if that wasn't enough to prove how insecure Jalen is, then maybe we should take a look at another one of her little humdingers she decided to shit out of her brain and pop out on the main. You sacrifice your mental and physical health to do YouTube, because that's what it takes. That's how our world works. Elon Musk is is the richest person in the world and he works harder than most people. Sometimes I don't want to make a video, but I do it anyways. God just be making anybody for real. Yeah, listen, as a YouTuber, I'll be one of the first ones to say that it's one of the easiest jobs in the world. So I don't know what the hell you're going on about. Oh, well, that's just how the grass stays green. Of course, that's how it stays green, Jalen. You never go outside to touch it. You isolate yourself in your own little life slayer and spend every waking moment talking about drama or starting it. And every time that you lose, which is about whenever you go to open your mouth to say anything, you turn into a butt hurt little bitch to start false flagging critical videos that people made about you on YouTube. So of course that's going to cremate your cranium. You're doing the exact same thing every single day expecting a different result and that's just textbook insanity. You sit here letting your ass brew up with sweat, slime, and yeast to make a five minute expose on Mr. Beast and then compare that to the work of the man who founded SpaceX. The saddest part is Jalen thought this was like her I have a dream speech right here. Like this is what make everyone pump up their fists in the air and realize the corruption around us. She claimed that saying the hard R isn't racist and then apologized for saying it the next sentence after, but then tried to say that we're just too stupid to understand her level of humor. So obviously this whole orgy clash of a sentence is just something to laugh at, which is exactly what people did. And somebody actually went out of the way to reply with a simple LMAO, which must have activated like the winter soldier out of Bucky here, because she then replies afterwards that his religion grooms children. CP should be protected under free that really. So this would be very common to see, as I mentioned previously, but as much as there were dramas with Jalen, there was always a half-ass apology to follow along with it. She's done more than I can 
can even count and she follows through with absolutely none of them and majority of the time they would include her stepping away from the internet to take a long mental recovery process for herself. She'll talk about deleting Twitter for good and working on self-control but then the next night she'll tweet another Jew joke and get shocked when people get mad and it's just a whole entire cycle and it always just repeats itself. Hell, she's still posting to this very day so there's just no hope to hold for you. It's like any chance people give you, you always make sure to hit them back with a little one-two fuck you combo. So I sort of wanted to separate Twitter from everything else first because I mean she's been in so much shit if you would write it all down it would look like I'm busting out the Dead Sea Scrolls and that's just maybe covering half of it give or take. It all started out small it would basically begin with her replying to trolls in her comments that basically use her like a fleshlight to laugh at because they know there's almost a 90% certainty that Jalen will respond and she does it to herself. For example she knowingly and willingly joined a discord server where trolls that actively hated her were infested in it and not only did she join it and send a black youtuber a George Floyd meme and said she'll knee on his dead channel when Jalen found out the creator was black she doubled down on it and said it again with her chest puffed out but after being taunted in the server and politely asking the mean men to stop she would not leave a group full of people that hate her no fuck that Jaden knew she wasn't a pussy hell she still didn't even have one she had to bring back that dog in her to defend herself and you can gladly see how that one went like, you're not black Jalen you're not allowed to say that word are you racist I am black Jesus I am black oh hypocrite you I'm literally like oh. actually Fuck you! Oh. Do you want me to kill myself? You people are literally what? driving me How is that fucking Mikey? insane! The day, <laughs> day. <laughs> what the hell is wrong? Jalen, Jalen, listen. Are you want me to do this? Jalen, oh listen. listen. Why would listen. you say that? Why, why are you going crazy? Why are you malting? Why are you having a breakdown? <laughs> You know, it couldn't have gone more perfect. The execution was absolutely stellar, and I really think she really taught them boys a lesson about respect. This is obvious uh, mental illness. I, I mean, that the term is passed around a lot. I'm aware, I know, but I mean, the, come on. The guy sounds like he's auditioning to be the next Joker. The only other excuse for behavior like this would be bath salts, and maybe she combines the two. I really don't know. But what I do know is she went from zero to 60 like a fucking star, Dale. That almost came out like it was prepared in front of her, like she rehearsed that shit. What? Driving me How is that fucking insane. I honestly think we can all agree this is where you need to take a good and long ass break from the internet because if your mind somehow deteriorates more than this i'm afraid you're gonna start eating out of dumpsters at night because this is actually scary the first little two-step plan you set up for when you lose an argument is to call them a racial slur and follow it up with a suicide threat and you actually expect people to feel bad for you it's just a harsh truth jalen learn how to handle how you interact with your audience or just don't fucking have one because right now your mind is just melting by locking yourself away from the world like a little shriveled up cave troll and it's only going to decay more if you don't do something Something about it but a part of me also thinks you don't even want to do anything about it because the years of inconsistency that you've been a cock munching co four years ago she was in another toxic server that was leaking all kinds of her private info and when some solemn samaritan came on by to offer support and sympathy and she would basically just slap the bitch's shoulders apart by saying lmao or maybe i can do whatever the fuck i want if they leak my shit they are retarded this is a block game doxing over a block game is retarded so shut the fuck up mr potato no one forces you to click on my post so she's always willing to accept a helping hand when it's needed and ignoring all advice a guy gives you by telling him to shut up. You know, he probably put down his phone and was smiling thinking he did a good deed for that day, only to get you ignoring everything he said and telling him to shut the fuck up. Of course you wonder why not many people like you. Because even the people that show you some level of respect and kindness, you're still an ignorant prick too. So she's obviously open to lead on someone's shoulders when she's in need, but how about providing one? What would having Jaden be like as a friend to hang out with? Well, I wish I could tell you because she has no friends, but the one person she was the most open to in her life turned out to be a child predator uh, attempted to like take their own life like numerous times and uh i, I it's it's like, a, okay, it's like okay, a difficult... okay 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 whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Okay, thanks, only for 10 minutes later for all that to be thrown out the window because somebody sent in a screenshot of her saying that she basically did the exact opposite of what she said on the podcast and told that same suicidal friend to overdose on pill knowing where natty had a prior drug problem in the first place and so i kind of out of anger because they said something out of spite to me they were like oh go cry on twitter about people calling you a man or something and i was like i i told them to overdose on on pills which is what they had done in, in the past and so god yeah, damn so yeah there's not really a hero to root for in this story at all it's like a toilet fighting a sewer so of course all you're going to see is nothing but assholes and for those who are curious about the youtuber he went by the name of natty forsyth and he allegedly got exposed for showing his foreskin to a 12 year old and that can be a whole entire tale on another sunrise but jalen knew about this and still kept tabs with the guy daily and only stopped 
talking to him, not for being a predator, but only because Natty said something that hurted his feelings. Listen, if I ever found out any of my friends, no matter how close they are to me, even emitting a slight gesture of being a molester, I'm running until the cows come home. You are never seeing me in your life again. Actually, you won't even remember I existed because I'll grab a frying pan or something and knock your ass out for telling me that shit. I thought it would be best to save the worst for last, and personally, when you rank all the deplorable things she's done, this is what I think takes not only the cake, but the entire ass bakery. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Technoblade, and as tragic as his passing was, his diagnosis was something that would be a punch in the gut to set things in motion, and Jalen being so crushed after finding out the news about Technoblade, she couldn't bear her emotions in for even an hour, so she created one last anal accolade for Technoblade where she uploaded a video with ads running, might I add, of her exploiting a terminally ill man for views, and to have King Midas flick my dick gold and let the truth be told, right before making this video, you would call out channels that are milking his diagnosis and saying how they deserve to be stopped when you go and do the exact same fucking thing. Jesus. I am black, oh, hypocrite! It's like you foreshadow what you're about to do next by calling somebody out that does it first. But she would now drop the infamous I feel awful for Technoblade video, which is a six minute pile of shit of him pretending to care about Techno dying and slapped a golden ticket at the front and the back of the train and then proceeded to flood the description and tags with keywords like Techno Music Blade Cancer so her video would pop up in search and just promise to donate all the money she made from the ads to charity rather than setting up the built-in fundraiser feature that YouTube offers. So with your reputation, people are going to find it hard to believe when you just say, yeah, I'll just go to a good cause without any actual proof or explanation whatsoever. I mean, you're practically just wiping your ass with that right in front of the face of all the viewers back home. So it's no surprise that video got her into a lot of controversy and multiple YouTubers such as John Swan and Optimus began calling her out on exploiting a man's death for money. And Jalen would again go into another fit of rage, but this time it was a little different because she would treat Optimus like he was a secondary father figure in her life. And it was honestly very creepy, if anything. I can handle John Swan coming for me, but not Optimus. Not somebody I've looked up to for years. I can't handle this shit. None of this matters. What do you people want from me? I tried all I can. It's never enough. You're acting like the man just threatened your family. That's something that only pussies like you do. All the man called you out for was profiting off of somebody's cancer diagnosis, and you transcribe that into your brain as him maliciously attacking you? I mean, you do that for everybody. You falsely flag videos down before that were just giving you genuine criticism and borderline honest advice, but you just never take any of it into consideration. So to sit here and say that you've done all that you could where you absolutely done nothing to help yourself whatsoever, hell, you probably don't even know what day it is, Jalen. The only timeline you follow is Twitter. So you can't even say you become a half-decent person when you repeat the same shit every single week. And then when Technoblade tragically passed a year later, she would start attacking other YouTubers that were making videos on Technoblade dying, acting like she just didn't do the same thing when Technoblade got diagnosed. Now, sure, Technoblade being diagnosed and Technoblade dying are two separate things, but I think from a moral and common standpoint that all of us can agree on, it's still a pretty shitty thing to report either way. Honestly, I think this is gonna wrap the video up there, and that's for my own sanity, because I essentially just scratched the surface of all this drama she's been in, and I think this video just being the surface should serve a good amount of reason to see the problems with this person, the dangers that they cause to themselves and others around them. Everybody can have an audience, but not everybody deserves one, and with what Jalen has done with her time on the internet, from abusing the copyright system to telling her close friends to overdose, to exploiting a man's death for money, then trying to double down on it, and calling people new racial slurs that haven't even been put onto the market yet, and her still arguing with people on Twitter daily and having mental breakdowns of VC calls every other day, it's safe to assume that Jalen's mental health has been deteriorating for years at this point. And it's only going to get worse if she doesn't balance her online life from a social one. Now, when it comes to a personal experience with her, I can't really say too much. She blocked and unblocked me on Twitter about 40 times and we got into a few scuffles. I don't know, for me she was kind of like that one dog that lets you pet it and then just starts growling out of nowhere. Like, I right, damn, I thought we was cool. Like, fuck you too, I guess. Like, one day we wouldn't have problems, the next day we would. Well, I should even say we, because it's mainly just one-sided. I never had a problem with her from the get-go, because Jalen acts like every interaction she gets into, she has to fight for her life like it's a clash against the titans. Maybe this video will change that, I don't know, and quite honestly, I don't care. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to slap a like before your dad slaps you, subscribe to hit my vibe, and follow all my socials, links down below, especially my Instagram. I'm getting really close to 5,000 followers, so it would mean a lot if you guys would show some support on there, and who knows, shoot your shot with me, and you might get a text back. I love interacting with you guys and hearing the support y'all have to give, and with that being said, I'll see y'all next week, and I, I'm gonna have